Hey, this is Zach. Welcome to Web3 Reviews. Thank you for being with us. Today, it is Monday, December 2nd, and we are going to be talking about XRP in the crypto market. Let's go. Remember that none of this is financial advice. So as I start, this uphold gave me a message, and they said that Songbird is up 6% in the last 18 minutes, up to 0.17. Better than being sub a penny, right, Songbird friends? We got a lot of work to do, but we're getting there. Dark Defender says he's got some TA for us. XRP targets $4.11, as well as $5.85 as the next 50 Fibonacci levels. The support levels are $2.13 as well as 1.88. I wonder what the panic would be if XRP went down to $1.88. I'm sure you would still have those folks who are calling for 80 cents. I watched this Zach Rector show last night. He was just giving it to the haters, giving it to the TA folks who were calling for a back test, giving it to the folks who for years have been saying not to buy XRP. And it was great to see. You know, there's been a lot of that. There's been a lot of influencers coming out of the woodwork saying that they've been with XRP the whole time. And people have kept receipts. People are getting called out saying, no, you weren't, man. You were actually talking smack on this date, on this podcast. We got your words right here. People are having to eat their words and their decisions. Let's say you were buying Bitcoin this whole time, thinking you were just going to be some millionaire with Michael Saylor, thinking Bitcoin was going to go to 250. Yeah. All right. Even if you want a two and a half, you want a times two and a half in crypto. That's nothing. Bitcoin is at the top of the chart. It got the kiss of death from Jim Cramer. XRP, it is warming up. XRP has only been this price right now one other time in history. Besides in 2020, when we went up to a dollar and 70 cents before the lawsuit, we've never been this high. Besides in 2017 on that bull run and massive run up to the all-time high of $3.80. Here we are again. We are on a moon run. Could there be a pullback here and there? Yeah, there always is. People are going to be buying those pullbacks. We still got a lot of futters. Let's check this out. So today is supposed to be the day that the settlement ends. But when trying to look this up, I found some FUD for us. The Greek hodl still wants to tell people not to be buying XRP. Let's see what he says. Centralization at its core, just a far cry from Bitcoin's trustless and decentralized model. Exit liquidity for Ripple. Anti-Bitcoin ethos. Banker's coin. I'm not even going to keep reading this. False promises of utility. Ripple's legal battles. This is so funny. Bitcoin only. You can't make this shit up, man. This guy's still going. It's funny, man. These people are never going to stop. The XRP queen, she says that today is the day. December 2nd is going to be the approval of the settlement between Ripple and the SEC. And when XRP was deemed not a security, we were still in a bear market. There wasn't too much price movement behind that. But when the legal battle between Ripple and the SEC finally ends... I think we will see some positive price movement there. DeFi Divi, high fives to those experiencing epic euphoria. A moment of silence for those experiencing epic FOMO. Brett has a message for people. Don't sell your XRP until all these targets have been met. RLUSD is released. Trump is in the White House. Gary officially leaves the SEC. The Ripple case ends. Ripple names their big bank partnership. XRP ETF approval. Use this list to your advantage. This is a good list. Now, if you really need to take profits, if you're hurting, nobody's saying to not take profits and live your life, you know? This is not a place for anyone to make decisions for you, you know? Go ahead and buy Bitcoin at the top, okay? You gotta learn first. You gotta get burnt before you can understand the game. That's how I got in. I bought the top of Bitcoin at 18,000 back in 2018. I bought XRP coming down from the all-time high at $1.50. Those were my first buys in crypto. I played XRP all the way down to the summer of 2019, pain at 11 cents. I played Bitcoin all the way down to $3,000, similar time frame. That's how crypto works. And if you can't see that yet, then you should just listen to somebody who can see it, okay? And you have a lot of people out here who are still talking shit. That's good. FUD is good. Sell orders and back tests are important. Things don't go straight up to the moon. Once everyone's on board saying, we're never going down, we're going to $100 XRP, and we're already at 10 bucks, then it might be time to sell. Seriously, once everyone's saying 1,000, 25,000, we're already at $100, we're already at 25 bucks, then it's time to sell. Right now, we are beneath that all-time high. Not Financial Advice has a video for us about November's most bullish developments for Ripple and XRP. Let's take a look at this. This guy does great work. I think it might be safe to say the XRP train has left the station. Here are November's most bullish developments for Ripple and XRP. 21 shares files for an XRP ETF. Donald Trump wins the US presidency, says we're gonna embrace the future with crypto and leave the outdated banks behind. That's what we wanna do. Brad Garlinghouse tweets, the opportunity for those who believe in the future for XRP is enormous. Brad Garlinghouse talks XRP on the BBC. Trump announces his crypto agenda, foreshadowing a starring role for Ripple and XRP. For example, he mentions fostering tokens pegged to the dollar. Well, Ripple's dollar-pegged stablecoin, RealUSD, goes live in three days. 
He mentions forming a crypto presidential advisory council, while well, Garlinghouse went on Fox wearing his XRP shirt and confirmed Ripple already met with Trump. Meld Gold and XRP Ledger unite to digitalize the gold market. Ripple's Jack McDonald in Digital Chamber meets with Federal Reserve Governor Bowman to discuss stablecoins. Trump proposes to eliminate capital gains tax on cryptos issued in the US. Robinhood expands crypto offerings to include XRP. 18 U.S. states filed to sue the SEC, accusing them of unconstitutional overreach and unfair prosecution of the crypto industry. Associate General Forge announces the launch of its Europeg stablecoin on the XRPL. XRP pumps above $1 for the first time since 2021 and on David Schwartz's birthday. CEO of SBI Global Yoshitaka Katao tweets Ripple should IPO as soon as the SEC matter is settled. Says Ripple will be listed on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. Ex-Goldman Sachs Kirk Stokes named sales director of Ripple. Wisdom Tree launches a physical XRP ETP. XRPL gets connected to 50 plus blockchains through Grove. Gary Gensler resigns and gets trolled by the entire crypto community, including Elon Musk. Axelar, an interoperability platform connecting 80 plus blockchains adds the XRPL, bridging the gap between Ethereum and XRP. Debut of Rigged from the Start, formerly XRP Unleashed, a brilliant documentary with lots of familiar faces that exposes the SEC war on crypto. XRP officially outperforms Bitcoin for 2024. Trump picks Scott Bissent to serve as Treasury Secretary. Garlinghouse calling him the most pro-innovation, pro-crypto Treasury Sec we've ever seen. XRP open interest hits an all-time high. Wisdom Tree registers for a spot XRP ETF. Ripple partners with ArcX to debut the first tokenized money market fund on the XRPL. XRPL meme coins officially debut on Dex Screener. Ripple backs Bitwise physical XRP ETP, and Bitwise has already begun promoting it. By the way, the CIO of Bitwise follows 589 people. The XRPL Foundation is officially incorporated, and finally, former CFTC chair predicts the SEC will drop the Ripple case. Smoke says SEC case thrown out and RLUSD going live any day now. Digital asset investor, Sailor watching XRP run when he wanted it and all the other digital assets besides Bitcoin to be declared securities. Throwing a table. Yeah, these guys, they called for the downfall of other cryptos. Let's look at this. I've heard Ripple make custody all of its escrow and swap it for RLUSD. They can mint RLUSD to their ODL partners. So Ripple gets working capital. The XRPL gets massive liquidity injection and XRP circulating price stays lower. Now that you have heard this, it's not so crazy that XRP price will go to $1,000. Cheese says it's not enough. I want to see 10K per token. Vincent Van Code, it will happen. You will see. Imagine being able to custody your XRP, receive and spend USDT while your XRP still is locked away and increasing in value. Maybe the custodian will charge a small fee. And best part is you don't sell, so you never pay capital gains tax. Sonny Liston says exactly, that's the plan. To usurp the vast majority of circulating supply and take it out of circulation, place it in custody for utility. We'll wake up one of these days. The circulating supply will be exponentially smaller. The market cap colossal and the value of each XRP sky high. Raul Paul gave us a shout out. Dear XRP Jedi Warriors, you were right, I was wrong. Well done. Dinosaurs still roam the earth. I just want everyone to make money and you guys have walked through hell to get here. I still own some XRP from the delisting, but you guys girls deserve everything. Zach Rector, it's over for the influencers who tried to fud us out of our bags. They're done. We still have some trying. Max Avery, if you've ever been wondering how RLUSD can affect XRP's price, let's break it down. More RLUSD transactions means more activity on the XRPL. XRP is the native currency gets used for fees and bridges. Higher demand equals potential price increase. XRPL excels at cross-asset transfers. XRP is often the bridge between RLUSD and other assets. This drives utility for XRP as RLUSD adoption grows. RLUSD issuance adds liquidity to XRPL. More liquidity attracts traders and institutions. They use XRP for fees, creating a virtuous cycle for adoption and demand. The stablecoin could integrate with DeFi on XRPL. XRP would power these dApps, expanding its use case and relevance. Success breeds confidence. Stablecoin's adoption will signal XRPL's strength, boosting market sentiment for XRP. This can drive speculation and institutional interest. Stablecoins like USDT and USDC have transformed networks like Ethereum and Tron. RLUSD can do the same for XRPO. On Ethereum, USDT and USDC boosted decentralized exchange, DEX volumes, and liquidity. 
This growth attracted developers and users, creating a feedback loop of adoption. Tron saw similar success with USDT for low-cost remittances. RLUSD could position XRPL as a hub for cheap, efficient payments. On Ethereum, DAI is central to lending protocols like AAVE. If RLUSD supports XRPL DeFi, XRP's utility will expand as the network grows. Stablecoins shine in remittances. RLUSD could leverage XRP's bridging ability to streamline international payments on XRPL. Stablecoins are user-friendly entry to crypto. RLUSD can lower barriers to entry and draw new participants to the XRP ledger ecosystem. Every RLUSD transaction burns a tiny amount of XRP. Over time, this decreases XRP supply, adding scarcity value. Stablecoins historically boost their ecosystems. Can the XRP stablecoin do the same? Increasing XRP's demand and strengthening its market position? By bridging assets, powering DeFi, and enabling payments, RLUSD could become a cornerstone of XRPL's future. XRP is at the heart of this transformation. If RLUSD succeeds, XRP benefits, more transactions, more utility, and more market confidence, creating upward momentum for XRP's value. In total, RLUSD on XRPL equals more transactions, boosted liquidity, DeFi opportunities, cross-border payments, market confidence. The introduction of stablecoins has significantly impacted blockchain ecosystems. RLUSD and XRP are likely to achieve similar success on the XRPO. DS from Expector. We are witnessing the start of something that even diehard believers couldn't even imagine. I gotta say I'm a diehard believer in the end goal for XRP. And I hope that DS is right. I hope that we blast through 20 bucks and beyond. We're $2.68. We're up 40% on the day. We went up and touched $2.85. We're up 85% on the week. We were $1.43 just seven days ago. On the month, we're up 423%. Incredible. What's it going to be one month from now? I think we're going to be at a new all-time high. This is that quick web three reviews. Thank you for being with us. Until next time.